Hi, I'm Wendell Laske from Evil Mad Scientist Laboratories, and um, I want uh, to talk about this thing I made, which is the Candy Fab 4000. Uh, this is a homemade 3D sugar printer. And, um, well, okay, why? Well, let's ask a serious question. What if it costs an order of magnitude or two orders of magnitude less to do rapid prototyping? And uh, here's one way. So we start with a 3D model I draw on the computer. We cut it into a set of slices. And then we take a hot air gun and we move it over the bed of sugar and selectively melt uh, sugar in certain places. And because we're doing this with uh, just a $10 heating element and we're using sugar, which costs 37 cents a pound, not a matter of dollars per square inch, we've suddenly taken this uh, 10 or $20,000 machine and made it a $1,000 machine that can print extremely uh, low cost and uh, acceptable results, perhaps. Um, we can also uh, do other things. We're interested in making geometric sculptures. We are looking into doing more mass production. And um, yeah, you can eat it. Um, so one of the problems with making a 20-pound sugar sculpture is you don't really want to eat that all at once. So if you want to make edible output on the candy fab, you really need to think small. Um, another thing, of course, is since we have this uh, um, hot air gun on the CNC stage. Really, we have here is the world's first CNC toaster. Just <laughs> sort of an offshoot project. Um, we can also do other things, too. Um, imagine printing in plastic. If it melts, we can fab it. And that's really where we're going with this. Um, you can also do complex shapes because uh, in your additive process, you're not limited by producing something you can do in a subtractive process like milling. Um, so this is uh, producing a, a very large chain with movable links. These links weigh about a pound each. We're also working now on getting towards a smaller, uh, higher resolution build. This is a flexible chain where the chains are only uh, an inch or two long. Um, and this is what I did last week. This is uh, getting towards a true 20 dots per inch resolution. Uh, finally, what we're doing is we're taking this to be an open source project and we're hoping to get uh, a lot of support to help us produce a design that anybody can build one of these from a set of plans, maybe next year starting at around $1,000. Thanks.